year old Immaculate Kibechenga was trafficked to Saudi Arabia September last year by Intercontinental Opportunities Labor Recruitment Company from a branch based in the Rubiliz district. As most of the youth travel, whenever they are aware of what they are going to do when they reach abroad based on the contract signed, it was not the case with Immaculate when she arrived in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> However, contrary to her expectations, her passport was confiscated on arrival. She was then subjected to constantly being forced to go to hospital for checkups, and yet she was not feeling ill. Without her consent, her employer picked her cell phone and installed an organ sharing app which informs other people using the application that the person is ready to trade their body organs. She became suspicious of the app and deleted it. This provoked her employer who assaulted her severely to the extent that she sustained intense abdominal pain. <laughs> The employer then took advantage of her condition to take her to the hospital within the intention of affecting her body organs. She was locked in a room where a knife welding man threatened to end her life if she turned down the doctor's appointment at the hospital the following day. <laughs> As Laka would have it, a kind person who had tapped the conversation of Immaculate's employer with the doctors secretly gave her a phone to call for urgent help for she was said to die in the hours that followed. She immediately contacted her sister in Uganda, Ewan Nyamuiza Florence, who raised the matter with State House and Corruption Unit. Anti corruption teyatura, ba kora butawela, ne 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 bachima ba directors abo, ba soka ba samoninga, but finally they arrested them, ne ba ba detaininga, au weba la gida, weba la gida amani into they can work on, ba ba soba lo kora. Meanwhile, at the hospital, she was being injected with drugs in preparation for the removal of her body organs. She sounded an alarm that attracted a police officer. The medics and Immaculate's employer tried to convince the police officer that she was insane and being treated. However, the officer ordered the cannulas to be removed and took her to the police for safe custody. State House and Corruption Unit intervened by calling the director of the company, Ali Mpungwe, to help with the investigations. The unit managed to get Immaculate's file from the company and caused her return to Uganda, despite initial resistance from her employer who had confiscated her passport. She was released and came back to Uganda on the 14th March 2022 when she was very ill and needs medical attention. Our big thanks goes to the anti-corruption office. We are really so grateful as family. With extensive investigations by State House and Corruption Unit on her file from the company, it was understood that her three months visa had expired. In addition, she did not have a valid contract with the employer, which is an illegal act. Joshua Kagoro, UBC News.